Ooh, you double hooked yourself, buddy. What's up, East Coast Fish Whispers? Today we're talking chain pickerel tips and techniques. A lot of times when I go bass fishing, I come across some really nice chain pickerel and uh, wanted to kind of share what I've hooked them on and how I've hooked them and where I've hooked them. And uh, hopefully that helps you guys if you want to target them one day because uh, if you get a nice 20 plus inch on there, it's uh, it's a really fun time, really fun fight. Honestly, they're underrated. I know they're slimy and whatnot, but a big one can be a really fun fight. Anyway, first one I hooked for this video is uh, early, well, I should say mid-spring because of COVID, we weren't allowed to uh, get out on the water, but, um, once we finally were allowed to, this is probably like late April, very beginning of May, and they do really like the square bills when you're around cover, they're ambush predator, just like bass, and the one I hooked with the square bill, very similar to this, except a little more royal blue and a chrome underbody instead of white, but the, the blue white, blue chrome patterns work nicely. It's early spring. Now, I was initially looking for some bass, so I was pulled up into the cove, kind of just casting parallel to the bank, a little bit of an angle, working some brush and lay downs and whatnot. And that's a, that's a great area to find them when the uh, weather is favorable, when it's comfortable to be out there. The second one I got going on to one of my comfort baits, the uh, spinner bait. Uh, the one specifically I caught this on was straight chartreuse and white, no blue, but um, gold willow. This is a similar one. I lost the previous one. This is KVD. That was Lunker Hunter. But um, yeah, it's a. Uh, about this time of year, it's uh, in this video, it's late spring. Got a pretty nice day out. Um, warm, sunny, not too much cloud cover. So good for me. Not so great, you would think, for fishing, but there was some wind, some chop on the water. Actually, it turned out to be a really good multi-species day. Bass, perch, pickerel, um, a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, coming around, I pretty established uh, point following my graphing equipment along the contour lines um, about maybe 15 feet deep casting angled in across the uh, contours of the uh, bed doing a slow medium retrieve little bap bap let it drop bap pull it off boom bap bap Little drop, boom, 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 and then bam. Usually, usually at some point during that cadence, they'll be on.
pickerel. Big one though. Now we're getting into uh, summer and uh, summer mid July down by me we're reaching mid 90s at the peak of the day uh, water temperature is getting at this point probably 75 roughly it will get warmer but um in August and September, but uh, yeah, July it's still getting pretty warm, but it's not it's not completely finesse fishing time. So I believe this is my yeah, this has got to be my quarter ounce jig head, quarter ounce jig head. As opposed to my three eighths jig head, which I'm not gonna try and find right now, with a paddle tail, white paddle tail, great for bass. Caught a bass shortly after this pickerel on the same, uh, working the grass lines in a cove, a cove that I've come to appreciate because it does produce fish. It's got. Uh, Deep enough water. It's got shallow enough water. It's got structure. It's got cover. It's uh, it's a nice cove. As are all the coves in this lake.
This next one, uh, caught off the bank. Um, this was probably late July, early August at this point. Um, just walking along the, the bridge, along the riprap. Typical pattern, you know, for, uh, bass and pickerel. And, uh, again, I had a jig head, uh, hooked up, but this time I had a, uh, I had a um, plastic jerk bait, and I don't have any more. I don't have anything similar to it. I could show you like just a, pra a regular zoom fluke, but this one was a little bit different. It had a more round head. It was made for saltwater uh, jerk baits, um, and it had a very nice, clean chrome black. But it worked well in this setting, and uh, yeah, another situation where just let it drop to the depth that you uh, want to let it drop to and in this case pretty deep because summer hot and you can see on the map kind of the contours I'm aiming at um, check all this stuff out before I start casting um, I'm not blindly casting I knew where I was aiming and what kind of should be under the water at that point and uh, yeah So the little pickerel. Slippery and slimy. Just a little one pound there back. I am going to just toss you back. And off you go. For this next one, uh, we're getting to the really hot days of summer. This is uh, August, um, middle to late August. Um, water temperatures are in the low 80s at the surface. I think 82 is probably about the average for August um, at my lake. And I'm just working a uh, main lake point along a grass line um, at the drop off the side of the point. So if you get the, the point, I wasn't working, I was working the side. And uh, a uh, Rapala DT-16 is what I was uh, throwing at this time. Another bait I like, as you can see, um, shad pattern, white, got the black and well, kind of like a smoke blue. And uh, yeah, just working the sides of a uh, main lake point uh, much like you would uh, looking for bass in the uh, dog days of summer. All right, here we go.
Now here's where it gets interesting. I don't know why, but it seems on the days where I'm having the worst luck and it's bluebird skies and there's no wind whatsoever and it's hot as hell, 95 degrees, water's boiling basically. <laughs> The water's not 95 degrees. The water's like 85 degrees, but it's hot. It's like bath water at the surface. This thing. This thing seems to strike a bite with a little dark brown trailer. I can't figure it out. This must be, this must be a shad, like, in the lake I'm fishing. This must be the closest thing to the, to the actual, um, crawfish pattern it's got to be something along those lines because when nothing else is biting in the summer i throw this on or a variation of this and i'm usually at least starting to get bites i've actually lost a few on this which compounds the problems of a of a bad day but um which is why i kind of like the trailer hooks um, but yeah, when nothing else is working, try something really different because you got this pick roll. So, but he's a wrangly one, so we're gonna let him go. And he's off. Kind of 
kind of in the same concept, dog days of summer, having a uh, really tough day. Um, the lake is extra pressured because there's a tournament out on it. Um, the, the top th third of the tournament guys did really well. The bottom two thirds did worse than me. Um, but it wasn't until about, it was sometime after lunch on a bluebird sunny day, very little wind again, um, bacon hot, 95, 100 degrees out in the sun. Um, let me get out of the way because it's probably all blowing up against my shirt, but straight red and black. Crawdad spinner, gold, half ounce, slow rolling it, man. That's got the bass, and then just ripping it across the top of grass. Got a really nice pick roll on um, that day as well. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to throw something different when all hope is lost. So this is the last pick roll of my 2020 season. Um, it's the last weekend in October. Uh, just getting ready to kick off late fall. And the fall bite is just coming to an end. Maybe a couple more weeks going on with that into uh, mid-late November. And um, obviously chasing those patterns. Working structure, working where the bait fish are, chasing the bait fish, ripping the trolling motor, and just banging the banks, banging cover, banging structure with a square bell. I love square bell. And it was a nice pickerel to add to the second to last season on my favorite home lake. The next day, Got some really nice bass and a beautiful yellow perch, but it was freezing. It was like, boom, here's your 42 degrees and raining all day. Enjoy the very last day you can of the entire year on this lake. And I'm like, oh, but I got to do it. Check out that video too. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll talk again soon. Peace.
Like I said, it was a little pickerel. Oh, About 19 and a half inches. Cool, but not the bass we're looking for.